Hi everyone, so today I'm back with a new video and it is 10 facts about Japan that you probably didn't know already. Now I hope you guys enjoy the video and please comment down below about how many of these facts you guys knew. So we know Japanese bow at basically any occasion from a greeting to an apology, but did you know depending on how deep you bow, there is a different meaning behind it all. So there are three, three, oh my god I can't hold this. So there are three main types of bows. The first one is called the eshaku, which is a 15 degree bow, and it is done in an informal setting as a greeting. This one is called the kede, which is a 30 degree bow to show someone of a higher level respect. And then we have the saikede, which is a 40 degree bow reserved for major occasions like meeting the emperor or used to apologize when you've screwed up something really big. So if you're in Japan and you're walking on the streets and someone randomly hands you tissue, don't be scared because this is how many many Japanese businesses advertise their business. If you're handing out free tissue, people are more likely to take this and see what your company's got to offer rather than if you hand out flyers. I think it's a pretty good idea and also, you know, I never run out of tissues anymore. Some Japanese companies conduct a morning exercise session for their workers. They believe that this makes their workers more healthier and productive for a day's work. Japan has some really really cool animal cafes out there. You've got the dog cafe, cat cafe, rabbit cafe, bird cafe, reptile cafe, even owl cafe and penguin cafe. That's a lot of pretty cool animals to be drinking tea with. So in Japan, most of the streets don't have names, the blocks have numbers, so the streets are just empty space in between the blocks. And the buildings on the block are numbered in order of age, so the first building built there is called number one, the second is called number two, and even if it's on opposite sides, it doesn't matter. Despite Japan for being a very, very developed country, most of the people there still use cash to pay for everything. So for those of you who are planning to go to Japan, make sure to have some cash on you because not all the shops accept card. In Japan, there is actually hardly any rubbish bins on the streets, yet there is no litter. Japanese are very good citizens and they try to keep their country clean so they bring their rubbish home. Now in Japan, did you know they have a cat island, rabbit island, monkey island, monkey mountain, horse cave, Deer Park, Fox Park. So in Japan, schools are quite strict in their rules. So up until high school, you normally aren't allowed to dye your hair. So what a lot of young Japanese students do is when they get into university, the first thing they do is dye their hair. If you guys are ever eating with Japanese people, remember never, never, never to stick your chopsticks vertically on your rice and remember never to pass food chopstick to chopstick. These are performed at a Japanese funeral, so it is said to bring bad luck. And you just wouldn't like to see something that's performed at a funeral done at the dining table. So guys, those were my 10 fun facts about Japan. I hope you found it interesting and hopefully you could take away something. And please comment down below about what other videos you would like to see me do. So I'll see you in my next video. See you guys. Bye. So I thought what better way than to start off the year with a video about how to make friends in Japan. Now not only in Japan, try to adapt these to your own situations.